Imagine driving on a rainy day. You're approaching a red light, and suddenly, the car in front of you slams on the brakes. Instinctively, you hit your brakes hard, but instead of skidding or spinning out, your vehicle comes to a smooth, controlled stop. That's not just luck, that's your anti-lock braking system, or ABS, doing exactly what it was designed to do. ABS isn't a flashy feature you see or hear about often, but when things go wrong on the road, it's one of the most important systems keeping you safe. Today, we're diving into what makes ABS so essential, how it works, and why it's a must-have in modern vehicles, right here on History of Simple Things. Before ABS, cars relied entirely on the driver to control braking. If you hit the brakes too hard, especially on a slippery road, your wheels could lock up. When that happens, your tires stop spinning, and instead of slowing down safely, your car starts sliding like it's on ice. Once the wheels lock up, you lose traction, and more importantly, you lose steering control. That's what made emergency stops so dangerous in the past. If you couldn't steer, you couldn't avoid an obstacle, even if your brakes were technically working. Anti-lock braking systems were created to solve this exact problem. Instead of letting the wheels lock up during hard braking, ABS quickly and automatically pulses the brakes on and off, much faster than any human foot could. This keeps the wheels turning just enough to maintain traction and steerability while still slowing the vehicle down. It's like tapping the brakes hundreds of times a second without you having to lift a finger. That's the real magic of ABS, controlled braking without losing control. Let's break it down a little more technically, but don't worry, we'll keep it simple. ABS uses four main components, speed sensors, a control module, valves, and a pump. Speed sensors monitor the speed of each wheel. The control module receives that data and watches for any signs that a wheel is about to lock up. When it senses trouble, it activates valves to reduce the braking pressure on that wheel. If the pressure needs to be increased again, the pump kicks in to restore it. This whole process happens in milliseconds. The result? The car slows down efficiently and you stay in control of your steering even in a panic stop. What makes ABS essential isn't just that it prevents skidding, it's that it helps drivers make better decisions in emergency situations. If you're braking hard to avoid a crash, ABS gives you the ability to steer around a hazard instead of heading straight into it. That's a game changer. Before ABS, slamming on the brakes meant surrendering your ability to steer. With ABS, you get both, strong braking and maneuverability. You might be surprised to know that not all ABS systems are the same. There are different types depending on the vehicle. 4-channel four 4 sensor ABS is the most advanced. Each wheel is monitored and controlled individually. This setup is common in most modern cars. 3-channel three 3 sensor ABS is often found in pickup trucks. The front wheels are monitored separately, but the rear wheels are controlled together. Single-channel ABS, mostly in older or budget vehicles, controls all the wheels together. It's better than nothing, but not as effective as newer systems. The more advanced the system, the more precisely it can respond to each wheel's behavior during braking. You might think ABS only comes into play during high-speed emergencies, but it makes a difference in everyday driving too. Think about stopping at a wet intersection, driving on gravel, or heading down a steep hill. In all these situations, ABS provides added stability and prevents wheel lockup. Even if you never feel it activate, your ABS is constantly watching, ready to jump at the moment something goes wrong. An underrated benefit of ABS is the confidence it gives drivers. Knowing your car can stop safely in unpredictable conditions allows you to drive more calmly 
and react more quickly in emergencies. Of course, ABS isn't a license to drive recklessly, but it's a strong backup system when you need it most. For new drivers especially, it reduces panic during hard stops and makes sudden braking situations feel less terrifying. ABS didn't start in cars, it came from airplanes. Back in the 1920s and 1930s, engineers developed anti-skid braking systems to help planes land without their wheels locking up. The technology was later adapted for motorcycles and eventually made its way into cars by the 1970s and 1980s. At first, it was a premium feature found only in luxury models, but by the late 1990s and early 2000s, it became standard on most vehicles thanks to evolving safety regulations and consumer demand. ABS doesn't work alone. It's the foundation for many modern car safety features you might recognize like electronic stability control, traction control systems, brake assist. These systems all rely on ABS sensors and data to monitor the vehicle's motion and intervene when something goes wrong. Without ABS, these technologies wouldn't be possible. In a way, ABS is like the safety MVP. It not only protects you directly, but enables a whole team of support systems behind the scenes. If you've ever slammed the brakes and felt a strange vibrating or pulsing under your foot, that's ABS doing its thing. Some drivers worry that something's wrong when they feel it, but that vibration is a good sign. It means your ABS has kicked in to prevent wheel lockup. You'll often feel it when braking hard on slippery surfaces or when stopping suddenly at high speeds. The key is to not panic and keep your foot firmly on the brake. ABS is smart enough to handle the rest. While ABS is essential, it's not a magic fix for every problem on the road. ABS can reduce stopping distances on wet or dry roads, but on loose gravel or snow, it might increase the stopping distance slightly. That's because it prioritizes steering control over a full stop. However, being able to steer is often more valuable than stopping quickly in these cases. Also, ABS can't make up for poor tires, bad driving, or speeding. It's a powerful tool, but like any tool, it works best in the hands of someone who understands its limits. Because of its proven safety benefits, ABS is now legally required in many countries for new vehicles. In the European Union, ABS became mandatory for all new cars in 2004. In the US, it's not technically required for all vehicles, but it's included as part of the electronic stability control system, which is mandatory. In countries such as India, Brazil, and Australia, ABS is now being implemented as a legal requirement as well. It's one of those features that saves lives quietly, without a lot of headlines, but with a lot of real-world impact. So what makes anti-lock braking systems essential? It's not just about stopping your car, it's about keeping you in control when it matters most. From rainy streets to sudden obstacles, ABS is there to keep you safe, steady, and steering in the right direction. It's easy to take ABS for granted because it works silently in the background. But the next time you avoid a skid or keep control during a hard stop, remember, it's your ABS doing the heavy lifting, making modern driving safer for everyone. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.